from Jersey City, New Jersey. His USBI Black. Former champion. All three times. Two knockdowns were genuine, but uh, a slip or a push. Half reach advantage here. He's fine. just one points to King Solomon so we shan't uh, hold that against him too heavily pretty slow starter and this is the who's ranked number seven boxing raking there's blood already coming from Salazar at least a lovely stiff left hands now from Gatti Telling Gatti to Canada have come in one or three. A couple of reasonable win record of Gatti. Former Canada as an amateur. Alazar's game plan is here. Of just over half. Beat Leon uh, way back now in 91. Barker, and also champion, raised the chin of Salazar. Gatti always hunting forward. Looked a bit overwhelmed, in fact, when he fought uh, Terry Norris for the WBC Championship. Arturo Gatti's first defence. Lusty punches coming in from the champ. American connection. In fact, I dare say that is. Salazar just ring. And of course, fighters are human like Hart. You've got a few problems. Should Gatti. And the corner said, don't go looking to take him out. Looking way in behind. Slow hands. Oh, good shot. The gloves off. That's an old throwback, of course. This one on the soles. Of course, you can make sure that that doesn't stay on the gloves. Around this by the champion. Less than 10 seconds to go in round three. Looks like the third round on the on the trot. Tommy Bredel, the Dane, for political reasons. So that's uh, vacant at the moment. Anical, really. And this is the perfect opponent for Gatti to look good again. Nice right there from Gatti once. 91. And he's... Richard has gotten to the... past that third. Okay, we, we expected him to get... Well, now he's still got his speed and everything. He's warming up. That's David Balthazar. I dispute that. Salazar. Of fire that landed just cricked the neck of Salazar didn't it and that was a fair shot probably the best one he's landed so far then an uppercut well now possibly and it's undoubtedly as Talafiero and uh, okay were to believe his own particular brown and uh, a bit more of an even. So even if Salazar. Gatti will go with him. That's about what I meant. Arturo Gatti, 17 wins against one loss. And he's stopped 15. Uh, six years older than Gatti. Well, stop seven. Well, Rich going through his mind. He just fall nothing to assist in that three punch combinations G if you know in the white trunk super featherweight championship one of two in operation in the states the other one being
for those of you who didn't really know previously. But uh, I'm afraid Gatti is not... He's only twice. And the, the Blue Horizon, they expect nothing less than a knockout. Yes, he still looks strong. Is he complaining about being tired? No, he's not tired, boy. This is a fight. I knock everybody out. I know he's fighting with that Mexican. He's a strong guy. So he had to fight with him combination. Look for the knockout. So he knock everybody out. So he had to get to the fight. Yeah, but Hector, I do, I do recognize a difference in the power of luggage now. No, I have to try to get it in the fight, you know, be m m more smart with this guy, because the guy is not too smart, but strong. Speaking to Sean O'Grady, the champion, Gatti. And now Salazar being driven back and forced to... And this is a good round now for Gatti. Well, I said that times in his career so far, but only been stopped once, remember. And so far... So this is the half Gatti in the white, born in New Jersey, making the of his USBA super featherweight crown. And I wouldn't imagine that uh, Gatti's connections with the championship, not for a couple of years anyway, so he's only 22 years ish. I must admit, Salazar looks like he's just there to make up the numbers, doesn't he? Not showing a great deal of ambition. And that's a dangerous thing to do in boxing. Nice little sharp left hook again from the champion. Keen to take another one of these sharp shots from uh, the champion. So five seconds left then in the seventh round. And this is another good round for Gatti. And as the rounds go on. Well, you'd imagine now that uh, because it will be Gatti to go the full part prepared to stand there and wait for the final punch. And in Frank Cappuccino, necessary. So this might have a few rounds. Well, this is target practice now for Gatti. Second, but uh, well now Gatti. Oh, look at that. Well, or oh, has that little combination. And there's one thing's for sure that uh, Gatti now is very confident. A lot of ease. And I just hope you're drink. And it's got to be thrown bag. Getting a little bit worried. Had Salazar on the TV lacking somewhat. Salazar begging to be hit, can't you? And uh, of Gatti. Jesse James Leha for that matter, the WBC champion. Possibly uh, the hardest one of all to beat. How's to go? More body shots coming in now from Gap. So far. Needs a lot more than that, and there may well be a problem with uh, a very nasty knock on the negative. 
and that's and maybe Frank Cappuccino should well that might just uh, yes thank goodness for that well done well it was nothing was it that one just skimmed the ribs and that one just caught him on the hairline 